Thank you, Mr. Glass. I think this is a little excessive, Mr. Lennox. Our present security is, uh, perfectly adequate, sir. Maybe, Glass, but if all goes well, Frodex is going to make this company very rich. And I'm not taking any chances. New safe is controlled by computerized time lock. Once a week access only. That will keep the seed material secure while Fodix gets its public launch. I'm going to enter the password now. Don't mind, Mr. Glass. Best I keep this to myself. reaches of the Amazon has found the native algae called Phytex longinus. This algae is a naturally rich source of many vitamins and trace elements. Ten years of intensive Doesn't research... Doesn't exactly look consumer friendly, does South it? American algae, an entirely new strain. This new variety had been genetically engineered to increase its nutritional value even more. It is this super algae which is processed into Fodex, the perfect food for the future. Dream on. Made from Fodex well, you can't possibly make all that stuff out of that. Thing. Out of that the weed. special lighting produces optimum photosynthesis. These ideal growing How the conditions allow the Fodex They're good. to mature quickly Lovely. Thank and reach you. harvestable Fodex. size in only two weeks. I'm sorry? It's all made out of Fodex. Who smokes salmon? Cheddar cheese. Fodex. Right, looks like common or garden pondweed. There's nothing common about it. And you won't find it in your garden. Right, this is Sally, my research assistant. Right, Sally, do the honours, please. And the guys who broke in here are after this. The food industry is desperate to develop something like this. It's the Holy Grail. 
Food for the next millennium. So, straightforward industrial espionage. Xander. Been trying to put me out of business for years. Xander? He's research director. He runs Hennessy Brock. They're the sharks of the food industry. They want to swallow my company. They'll do anything to get their hands on this. What do you reckon? Yeah, the air conditioning thing at work last time? Too obvious. What do you want to go for? The jugular. <laughs> okay, it's a 40 line exchange. I've got to move fast. Well, don't you always? <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Security, can I help you? Hello, it's, it's Harris here with Hennessy Court. Perfect. Mr. Harris said to go straight up. Yeah, we look great on these passes. It's a shame about the printing. Research and development, eighth floor. Let's go. Well, these sensor reads are completely untouched. But this was the door the intruders used. And there's no sign of any bypass. I'd say someone left it open for them. Our security passes log us in and out. You can find out easily who was here last night. Oh. This staff list needs updating. Mr. Fricker, he died months ago, poor man. Really? There was an accident. Something to do with Fodex. Ah, uh, well, don't mention it to Mr. Lennox, though. We, uh, well, he doesn't like to talk about it. Really? Seems the computer's a bit reticent on that subject, too. Beckett, an announcement of Fodex from New Earth Foods. No crime having a press release, Ed. Nor in having a keen interest in photography, but check this out. Hey, wait a minute. It's where they're having the Fodex launch. And what are these guys planning? That's why you're there. Surveillance guys. Oh, I see. Who are they? Security, two intruders, eight floor. Hey. Oh 
get any higher. Right. Come on, get us in there. Door above open. Right, go, go, go. Come on. Caught them yet? Uh, no, sir. They must be on the roof. It's been sealed off. There they are, on top of the lift. All security to the ground floor. Repeat. Fricker's death is an internal company matter, outside your brief. Is the process of making Fodex dangerous at all? Of course not, absolutely not. Unless, of course, you're stupid enough to fall in the tanks or forget to wear your oxygen mask. Was Fricker stupid enough to fall in the tank? Forget about Fricker. I just want you to find out which one of my staff is a traitor. What are you doing? Well, because the alarm on the door that was left open is computer operated. Yeah. Whoever accessed it would have to do so using a personal user ID. Now, whoever did that has wiped all the files, but I'm running a little program of my own to recover them. <laughs> right. Yes. And um, while that's doing its stuff, I'm a bit more interested in trying to read this Fricker file. The one that Lennox is so anxious to hide. Yes. Gotcha. Sally, did you know Fricker? Sally? Sally, are you all right?
All well? Fine. I'm off now. Oh, and um, that girl Roz, she's gone. Hairdresser, she said. Well. Good night. Good night. Brock. Oh, Mr. Glass. Myself, Sally. Where is Sally? Oh, she was helping Roz. Uh, they've both gone for the night, huh? Roz is gone. Yeah, so the hairdressers, apparently. Hairdressers? Yeah, and I'm Elvis. Where's Roz's kid? Where the hell is she? What's this? Lighting failure. That'd just be a, a bar with that. Well, it says the whole circuit's gone. Quickly, go! Breathe, breathe for me. Come on. <coughs> Excellent. <coughs> uh. <coughs> Sally, yes? It certainly brings out the worst in people, this pondweed of yours. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Get out of my chair. The raid was a failure. You're fired. I've discovered something. Lennox's secret. The formula for Fodex? Or something better. Something we can really use to bring Lennox to his knees. And the first thing we should do is to put him under some pressure. Cancel the launch, we know the secret of Fodex. It's outrageous. And what a nerve Xander's got. What does he mean, the secret of Fodex? Well, the formula, of course. How are you feeling today? Getting there. Mr. Lennox, is this really just about the formula? Or is there something about this Fodex we should know? Why the cover-up over the man who died? Did his death have anything to do with this? There is no cover-up. Fodex is absolutely safe. So what now? Will you cancel the launch party? Certainly not. This is my life's work. Look, whatever Xander and that wretched girl are planning, I want you to ensure that it fails. And how do you want us to do that? The Fodex will be at its most vulnerable when we move it from New Earth to the restaurant for the launch. I want you to supervise its safe transportation. Okay, guys. One sitting duck decoy on the road. Ed, any sign of company? Nothing, mate. Not a nibble. And maybe the threat was just a bluff. Right then, let's go. Drive carefully, sir. I always do. She's only just passed her test. We're on our way now, Ed. Still quiet. 
quiet here. Well, they found us somehow. Must have seen through me. Damn. Can't you lose them? Of course, but you're paying for the respray. Next time, I'll drive the decoy. Thanks. Nice to be appreciated. Is everything all right? Xander tried something, but we lost him. We? And the Fodex is unharmed? Yes. And we're all right as well. And locked out in the kitchen until the chef arrives. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for... For helping make history today. You'll tell your grandchildren about this. Okay. Mr. Lennox, all clear. No bugs, no bombs, clean as a proverbial whistle. Thank you. It's great. Goodbye. I asked for champagne glasses. Mr. Lennox, I haven't finished yet. You're paying us to do a job, and I'm going to see it through. Chef! Well, you know, if you insist, yes, but please try not to get in the way. Uh, let's go and just check that raw material and make sure it's what we asked for. Wait for Gerard here to weave his magic. There's nothing here. No sign of the final fricker. Well, I spent it yesterday. Where's it gone? I was said this might happen. Apparently Lennox is so paranoid about this particular file that he's put extra security on it. If the file gets opened, then it automatically saves to a different file name at least the original. So it's still in here somewhere, but under an assumed name, yeah? Exactly. So, all we've got to do is search for a file that was opened when Ross was attacked, yeah? That's right. Man, that's going to take all night. Well, you better get started then, haven't you? <sighs> Pity there's none of that photics about. I'm starving. Ladies and gentlemen, honoured guests, I am deeply grateful that so many governments have seen fit to send delegates to my, to my presentation here today. By way of introduction, let me remind you that everything that you will eat at this table is made from Fodex. I've dedicated much of my life to developing this food, and I am convinced 
that in a few years, in countries rich and poor, FODEX will be feeding the world. So let us welcome its arrival with the one thing here today not made from it. Although, perhaps one day. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you FODEX. Ed, I've got it. I think I've got it. Yeah. Excellent. Now all you've got to do is get into it. You know, that was really very good. Don't sound so surprised. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, having, having given you a taste of the extraordinary qualities of Fodex, I would now like to show you a short presentation. Toxic. Fodex turns toxic if exposed to ultraviolet light. Man, that's what I call a product flaw. How does Lennox expect to market a food that can be made poisonous? By keeping the flaw a complete secret. Selling you about this. I mean, that's what she meant by the secret of Fodex. Ten years of intensive research in the laboratories of New Earth Foods. The Fodex is toxic. The Fodex is toxic. The Fodex is toxic. You are all Mr. Lennox, what does it mean? How did they find out? Who did Xander know? Know what? Mr. Lennox, what the hell is going on? Is this the so-called secret of Fodex? It's when Fricka died that we discovered we had a, well, problem. Problem? Fodex is perfectly safe, normally. But look at electricity. It can kill you. You're still using it. Yeah, well, we don't make it into hamburgers and sell it on the high street. What is going to happen to us? We'll be fine. We've developed an antidote. Keeping the propagation. And we keep large stocks of the antidote. And if ever that runs out, it's a very simple procedure to make more using the raw Fodex. And we've plenty of that in here. That explosion should have taken care of the Fodex. Now they'll have to come to us for the antidote. It's all going to plan. Of course, I always plan in detail. We poison the gas at the launch, and now we'll, uh, how did you put it, we'll increase the pressure. The money's as good as ours. You take the wheel, I'll make our demands. Be careful, they might try to trace it. I had thought of that, Sally. Now, what are we asking for? Ten million? Uh-huh. Two million of that should see the end of your days as a lab assistant, don't you think? Mr. Lennox? <sighs> yeah. Yes, I'm okay. Remember, I ate before anybody else, so the, the effects are more advanced in me. What will happen next? Disorientation, loss of sensory perception, loss of motor skills, loss of memory, then, uh, then death. Are you sure we shouldn't be seeking some sort of medical advice? I mean, with the antidote gone, there's no possible cure. Raw Fodex is the only source of the antidote. Terrific. What's the verdict on the chamber, Ed? I mean, did any of that raw Fodex survive? Unfortunately. Boiled beyond belief. Is there no way of making any antidote, Mr. Lennox? Okay, I'm out. It's all right. Morning. Yeah, mate. Hello. Hello, Mr. Zander. Where are you calling from? 
There's no way you can find that out. You've poisoned a lot of people here. Now what's the deal? You've got some antidote, right? Doesn't Lennox have any? It was all destroyed when the propagation chamber blew up. Yeah, that was a neat idea of mine. So how much will you pay for some antidote? Look, surely you don't want these people to die? I'm sure you don't either. Look, we can get you some antidote. But we want something in return. Ten million! Yeah. Well, I don't think Mr Lennox can lay his hands on that kind of money just at the moment. Let me give him some encouragement. I have here some of the mutated Fodex. It's in solution and full of toxins. Unless you and Lennox get me my 10 million, I'll pour this mutated Fodex into the water supply. Lennox will tell you what sort of an effect that'll have. Well, um, why don't you tell me? It'll grow and spread in the water supply, putting the toxins into every tap in the land. <laughs> it's going to take us a little while to get that kind of cash together. I don't care where the money comes from. I'll fax you details of an offshore account. Arrange an electronic transfer. Yeah, well, look, what about the antidote? I mean, look, people are dying here. You start arranging that 10 million. God, did we get it? You must have bounced it off every satellite that's up there. Great, so we got nothing. Well, we got this. This is a wonderful bluff. There's no way they can refuse to pay. They can't take the risk. Who's bluffing? Where is the antidote? In that canister? Not exactly. What do you mean? What are you doing? Redefining our working relationship. Sally, this is madness. What are you going to do? Well, exactly what you told them. This is an antidote. It's mutated Fodex. Which I shall put into the water supply. What? You can't threaten anyone with a gun unless it's loaded. But why turn on me? You're going to get a generous share. Two million out of ten. But millions could die. This is exactly why they'll pay up. No! Antidote. There's some seed material. <coughs> what? What is it? Frodex seed material. It's the germ of the whole project. Beckett. Yep. Apparently, there's something we can make an antidote with. Where? Where is it? Glass. 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 Uh, glass. Glass. He's the head of security down in New Earth Foods. Go on, Ed. I'm on my way. Sit tight, Mr. Lennox. Doesn't Lennox have any? Doesn't Lennox have any? Yeah, that was a neat idea of mine. So how much will you pay? Was? Are you are you sure you're up to this? <clears throat> Take out the voices and bring up the ambient sound. We used to do this in college all the time, test each other. It was just a game then. Are you ready for this? We're on a boat. A small one. Probably a pleasure craft. On open water. Not much backwash. Can you hear that? Just about. We're going under a bridge. Listen to the backwash now. A railway bridge.
Rose, we're gonna have to narrow this down a little bit more, okay? Mr. Lennox only just had it installed. And what's the locking system? Combination? Nope. Computer coded? Uh-uh. What is it, man? It's a time lock. And it's not programmed to open till nine o'clock. I can't wait that long. Not nine tonight. Nine on Monday morning. You won't get in there this side of the weekend. Beckett, there's a plane. Isn't it coming into land? Approaching from the west, that narrows the search area down a bit. Yeah, there's still a number of waterways here, though, Russ. So I'll cross-reference the other sounds. I can do this. In time. Get on the road, head for that area. I'll give you more directions when I can. What about you, Rose? What about me? Just stop them poisoning any more people. Yeah. Suppose this is foot-thick reinforced steel, yeah? Yep. So blowing a hole in it really isn't a possibility. Mr. Lennox said it'd need an atom bomb to get in there. Yeah, well, I don't think I've got time to find one of them. This thing stays shut till Monday. We're just going to have to persuade it that it is Monday. Now, let's... Okay. You can't fool it. It takes a direct feed off the Greenwich time signal. It... Well, you could have told me earlier. Rose. I've just come off the flyover, two miles west of the airport. Yeah, that fits. There's a railway bridge. Turn right under it. Can you see the water? Yeah, lots of it. Beckett, I know where he's heading. There's a pumping station, five miles north, northwest. Ros? Ros? I've got it. What are you doing? I'm learning to travel through time. What? Well, I've located the incoming time signal. If I can reproduce the exact frequency, I can regulate the clock. To make it go quicker? That's the general idea.
Don't do anything rash, Mr. Xander. It's not Xander you have to worry about. Hands behind your back. <sighs> Where is Xander? Feeding the fish. You won't be needing this. Move. Come on, I don't believe it. Do you know what it is? No. Mr. Lennox, he wouldn't tell me. I think, man, does he make a note of it? Is it the name of his wife? The name of his kid? Is it the name of his dog? I don't know. But, uh, he does forget things. He, uh, he keeps an organiser. It's always in his jacket pocket. Roz. Roz. Roz, can you hear me? Listen, I need a password to get into this safe, okay? It could be in Lennox's organizer. Have a look in his pocket. Ed, I can't. Oh, Ross, you can. Believe me, you can. I know you can. Now listen to me. They can't start making an antidote until I get this stuff out of the safe. Ross, do you understand me? I can't. I suppose you being here means the money isn't. Why are you doing this, eh? You don't want to kill all those people. A nice girl like you, it seems don't like. Patronize me. Why isn't Lennox taking me seriously? The last time I saw Mr. Lennox, he was unconscious. He's probably dead by now. Well, you could have got the money. You still can get the money. But there are many people who pay for the privilege of drinking pure water. When I press this button, the water enters the chamber here and mixes with the mutated Fodex. When the water level reaches this outflow, the dissolved Fodex enters the main water supply. Well done, Roz. These deaths will be your responsibility as well. The streets will be full of corpses. All right, you've made your point. Now turn the water off. I want money! And you can help me get it. Look, I can get you the money, all right? I just need more time. Just in your own time, okay? Okay, I'm in. Ross, try memo. There's something here, but I can't read it. I can't see you properly. Ross, you can. Come on, I know you can. Please, try for me, will you? I think it begins with an M. It could be Mandy or Manila or Man. 
manna. Manna from heaven, it's got to be. Do your thing. Turn it off. You turn it off. Do you know algae is one of the oldest forms of life on the planet? Well, I know some that's past its sell by date. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's been around for over 1,200 million years. So that's what happened to the dinosaurs. They were wiped out by Fodex. <laughs> that's it. I give up. What should we have for supper? How about Chinese? Bamboo shoots and fried seaweed. Don't think so. How about Indian? Now, that's a good idea. Actually, Beckett, and, um, I'm a bit off my food at the moment. I think it was something I ate.